Yep, yeah, that's what we said on okay. right. That was a tune from Das Land, which is where Malibu is, which is a sister city of Scandia. The next piece we're going to do is from Tingsrud, Sweden, the sister city of Lindström. It's a gong lot after Axel Solander. And Carl is representative of the last fifth of the blood. Carl Oscar is a fictitious character. Okay. And he is uh, uh, written about in the Wilhelm Mulberg books regarding immigrants. And oh. Wilhelm Mulberg came here in the late 40s. He okay. wanted to. So uh, he could have still been alive, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Well, anything's <laughs> possible. <laughs> I thought he was real. It's possible. So he, he was a historian. He wanted to find out why did the Swedish people leave Sweden and come here. Yeah. And this area is uh, very representative of the land that they came from. And oh. most of them were agrarian. They were farmers. There's a lot of farm country here. Yeah. A lot of rocks in Sweden, but we have rocks and here lakes. too. Yes. So. This house, uh, when Wilhelm Moberg was here, he, he saw this house and he thought this would be a perfect house for Carl Oscar to live his last days. So Carl, when he came, he built himself a sod hut, that is what they lived in. Then he built a log cabin and his third home was this. Oh. And this is wood from the area, it's cedar and it is also tamarack. And all of the, the, the walls, the ceiling, the floor, it is original from the 1860s. That's when the Lynn family came here from Sweden and built this house. So this is it. It does not have electricity. It's still pretty primitive. It's heated by wood. Um, we have the great room, which is as it was back then. You know, I'm sure you can imagine the huge family sitting around all the tables. And here's a picture of the Lynn family. This was their 50th wedding anniversary in 1904 in front of the house. So we've we've been fortunate <clears throat> enough to have some of their family come back around here. It's still be alive. Yeah. And the Holt family donated this house to the Historical Society back in the 90s. It was moved from its original spot to this location. Oh, really? Yes. And then you can walk around and take a look. This is a beautiful um, Carl Oscar home. And this is the kitchen that they would have cooked in. And, um, and the lovely lake view that she would have had when she was cooking. Um, I can imagine, uh, if you ever read the Wilhelm Mulberg books um, about them, um, I can imagine her standing here and the first time she en encountered the American Indians when they came through her front door, I'm sure she was quite surprised. <laughs> yes.
Oh, it's Carl Oscar. Yes. Did you get in a time machine and come from the past? Yeah. Now, Carl, I understand you've picked up a little English in your travels. Yes, I have. Well, that's good. Now you can really be the ambassador throughout time. Yes, yes. You have heard about the uh, uh, Zoom. What is it called? Where, where that you don't go between times. And I mean there. Twilight Zoom. Ah, yeah. yes. That's where I am. Now, the Swedes came to this area back in the 1800s, right? Yeah. And why did they leave Sweden? It's such a beautiful country. Yeah, but, you know, there were farmers, and the farmers had kids and more kids, and to split up the farm for each kid, the smaller and smaller farms, it didn't be farmland enough for everybody. So they came over here. It was free land, more or less and you can make a fortune. Now, was the land in Minnesota somewhat like Swedish land? Absolutely. The nature, lakes, woods, and the four seasons. Four seasons is very important. Yes. Another thing about the Swedes coming over, it was also religious reasons. In Sweden, there was a state church. Everybody had to belong to the state church, and the pastor was around that dictated more or less what you could do and not do. So they wanted religious freedom and they got that here too. Now, when they came to uh, this uh, Chisago Lakes area, did they come up the uh, St. Croix River? They came up St. Croix River yeah, to Taylor's Falls or some stopped in Stillwater. Yeah. And uh, then they migrated inland and found Good land. What was one of the first churches that they founded here? Oh, that was uh, Chisago Lake Lutheran Church, 1854. And it's still here to this day. Yes, it is, but this it is a third church building. Uh, I think one burnt down from a thunderstorm. And so... Now, Carl, what's the name of your wife again? My wife is Christina. Ah. And Carl is not my name. My name is Carl Oscar. Oh. The Swedes have double name, Carl Oscar, and our last name is Nilsson. Oh, thank so Carl you. Carl Oscar and Christina Nilsson. So Carl Oscar is one name kind yeah, of put yeah. together. You can hyphenate it, but uh, Carl Oscar didn't. And uh, how many children did you two have? Ooh. Wasn't it like three or four? Four. Yes, yes. Yes. And uh, I have, you see, I am old and crooked now. And I sat on the second level in the house and looked down and saw my children playing and grandchildren even outside. But they have moved on to better things now. Now, it's amazing that the apple tree is still around. Yes, it is. And, you know, we got that from Sweden, the kernels from Sweden and planted here. Ah. And I did that for Christina. Now, Carl, uh, this is Carl Oscar days. They named the days after you. Yes, they did. What an honor. Really honored, yes. Well, of course, you and all your colleagues who came over and, and you know, settled this yeah, land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we are open to all immigrants and all people living in the area now. Yeah. Hey, ever thought about being in a parade around here? Yeah, we are going to do that tonight. Well. Uh, Christina and I are going to ride in an open convertible car, I think you call it, over here. That one of those newfangled contraptions, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Back in your day, it'd be a horse and buggy parade, oh, yeah. wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, Carl, Oscar, how do you say best wishes in Sweden? Lycka uh, till. Uh, I just talked to Carl Oscar. 
he time traveled here to be here for this event. Yes. Carl Oscar was a very important man to our heritage. I would have to agree with that. Carl Oscar is also super nice. I got to talk to him this morning at the Historic yes. Society. Such a sweetheart. Yeah. And a time traveler too. Oh, oh multi-talented. Yeah. It's very important because Carl Oscar is really all of our stories of this community and the people who came here mixed together into one very incredible man. I just enjoyed talking to him because he's Swedish and has the Swedish accent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. I tried to run but did not have a chance. For in the woods as on my knees I stumbled, the cane began to do a polka dance. Oh, I went home and wrote to Nicolina. There's not a slightest bit of hope in me. If you don't end me of this awful torture, I'll be jumping into the sea. The Nicolina answered in a hurry. Oh, darling Carl, don't be so unwise. A suicide is nothing but a joke. Why don't we wait until the old man dies? This is a smart woman. And so I wait, and so does Nicolina. To see the old man kick the bucket soon. And on his graver planting in remembrance, the cane he used to be beneath the moon.